Hello, you know me, it's Quentin, also known as Cucumber, and here we are, we are outside in my office, uh, and we are going to do a little direct drawing today, so I'll be telling the story out here, and also drawing at home, so we're going to follow both worlds, but right now, I'm telling the story right now, so here we go. So if you want to grab yourself a piece of paper, it could be a piece of paper out of your printer, any kind of piece of paper, uh, all you need is paper and a pencil. Now myself, I'm not using pencil because I need it to show, but I'm going to use crayon myself. Uh, not only do I have crayons, I also have some glitter crayons, so I'm pretty excited about that. In any case, I'm going to find myself a black crayon and hopefully it will show and uh, we'll get started. Here we go. Once upon a time in a place pretty close to this one here in a land not that far away not that long ago there was Raven. Raven as you know is a very mischievous bird. A self-centered bird but a bird that has his own ways and wants to know, hmm, what's to eat? Kind of like you and me. All right, first thing is sort of mapping this out, where it's gonna, where, the, where is it all gonna happen here? You guessed it, first things first is to draw the ovoid, or we like to call it the jelly bean. Now I know today it's not very sunny. In fact, a couple days ago it was really beautifully sunny. But as I look around, the clouds are obscuring the sun today, but we know it's there. Let's take a look where I'm at right now. Up in the, You can see that it's pretty cloudy up there. I don't know if you can see that. But it is very cloudy. Long, long ago, before there was you and before there was me, before any of this as we know it came into creation. There was Raven. Now, believe it or not, the world had no sun. The earth was black. There was no light. And so everybody was stumbling around in the darkness. People were bumping into each other and animals were bumping into trees and birds didn't know how to fly because the light was nowhere to be found. It was completely dark. All the animals were blind, even though they had eyes. Because the land was completely dark, no one could see. And of course, through that all, Raven had only one question. I'm gonna go low because uh, I'm kind of thinking I don't want to go off my page, so. Jelly bean. Wow. <laughs> we don't, don't 
call him the Jelly Bean. I call him the nickname the Jelly Bean. But uh, called ovoids. And there's a lot of speculation on where this shape came from. And I like to think that uh, you know, it comes from clams or it comes from the paw of a bear is where I think uh, the shape really comes from. So uh, it's reflective in nature. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's such a comfortable shape to draw. This shape's been going on for thousands of years. Raven had one question. It's the same question that you and I probably both ask ourselves as soon as we come home from school. What's to eat? A raven liked to eat. He, that's what he did. He thought with his stomach. More than you know. Raven liked to eat, but he also liked to eat for free. And so he thought of all his friends. And the more he thought about it, he thought, Oh, I can't ask any of my friends for food. I've asked them so much. Oh, hmm. Oh, what can I do? It's so dark and I'm hungry. Oh. And just then, his friend, Frog, showed up. Frog said, Oh, Raven, you won't believe what I heard today. Raven said, What? Well, I heard something very interesting. And Raven was excited. What? 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 I heard that the Sky Chief has something very interesting that he's keeping in his longhouse. to a point and he sort of touches the top edge of it. Ooh, what? What? What is it? Tell me, tell me. Well, I can sort of tell you, but I can't fully tell you. Well, what is it? What is it? Is it food? Is it food? Well, I don't know. Well, what is it? Well, you see, the Sky Chief keeps this thing. It keeps it secret. A secret? Yes, it's a secret. It's it's in a box. Oh. How big's the box? It must be, I don't know, yay big. It, it, it fits up on his shelf that he keeps over by the, his fire. Oh. So it is food. I didn't say that, and maybe it is food.
Well, I'm not saying it's food. But I don't know what it is. He keeps it so secret. He hasn't told anybody what it is? Who would know? That's hard to say. I don't know. Yeah. He, he, it's, it's something in the box that's important. He keeps it a big secret. Wow. I wonder what it is. I know. We all wonder. Oh. Well, there's got to be some way that we can... We can get to it. Hmm. Let me think about this. And so Raven thought about it. He thought and he thought and he thought. Hmm, what could it be? Oh, it looks so big. Food? Dried salmon? Huckleberries? Oh, what could it be? Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out. Is to find out. thinking in my mind's eye as I'm thinking about the story and thinking about Raven and how his, his wing is, is like a hand and how he's being expressive with his hand as well. Um, sometimes um, you can reflect a little body language in this art where you can have hands being as expressive as well. Oh! I know what it could be. It could be herring roe. Or maybe they're, maybe they're clams. Maybe, ooh, maybe stinging metal. Mm, what could it be? I'm not sure. Mm, I must find out. And Frog, hearing Raven think with his stomach. And, uh, now, reminder, Raven. It may not be food. It could be something else. Well, it has to be food. I mean, food is the most precious thing. Don't you think? Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe it's something else. You know, you know, you, you, might, you don't get your hopes up here. You know, it might be something else. Well, it has to be. Or else, why would he protect it? We got like four. We got the ovoid. We have the form line converging. Form line again converging. One side and the other side converging. And then we have this U shape, like the letter U, um, is converging as well. So the four lines converging at a point here, which adds tension here in some areas and then soft shapes in other areas. Well, I mean. It has to be food. Oh, just think of all the possibilities. Oh, maybe it's salmon. Oh, whale. Oh, I can taste it now. A frog. Ah, uh, raven. There's only one way to find out, is to find out. Although, you're going to have a hard time. You can't just knock on the door and get in. They don't let anybody in their longhouse. It's family only. And you can't even get in. Okay, for me, for the next little part, I'm going to focus in on the tail here. So I'm just going to zoom in on the tail. So that's where I'm going to be right here. All right, here we are on the tail. And I'm just going to add some feathers to the tail here. So again, uh, if this uh, art were well, it kind of is a visual language. We're going to think about the letter U. There we go. So I'm kind of 
kind of looks like the letter U. So I'll put one on one side. I'm going to put one on the other. Now here, I don't quite have enough room to go for this. So I'm going to actually curl his tail around. That's what I kind of like about this art. Uh, you can always modify and actually this is all right. I don't mind this at all. You can always modify it and curve and bend things to make it fit into a certain shape. And that is, uh, you know, if you need it to fit within a paddle or on a bentwood box or uh, it's the beauty of this art. Um, this just side here, I got two feathers here. Maybe I, I'm just sort of doing this on the fly. I don't have a ruler here to e divide this into evenly into thirds or to fourths. And uh, I'm just deciding will it look good with one big fat feather in the middle? Or should I divide it into two? Um, I think I'll divide it in two. But hey, if it works for three for your tail, then you go ahead and go with three. I'm just going to go with two feathers here. Again, just like the letter U. Oh, I think my crayon just broke. What do you mean they won't let me in? They have to let me in. I'm Raven. The greatest of all the birds. Why wouldn't they let me in? Raven. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> they're, they're different. They're the sky people. They, you know, don't like to sort of mingle with us earthlings. So, I'm a sky person. I fly. I'm flying all over the place. Come on. They're going to let me in. Well, okay. Okay, I guess while I'm down here, um, I'm going to split these. So... And if you can sort of think of this letter kind of being a cross between a letter T and a letter Y. And this comes from, uh, especially from carving it in wood, you, you can make these cuts with a knife. There. And with that, Raven stumbled off looking for the Sky Chief's longhouse. And he stumbled over the land and over the hills and through the forest and feeling his way through the trees. And eventually, he found it. Hmm. Well, I think for maybe the next part, uh, maybe I'll fill in some details with the head. So we'll. Uh, Go there and I'll zoom in there next. Here we are, we have the head. Um, he needs an eye. He needs a C. So as much as we have uh, an ovoid shape in the, in the middle, I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do an ovoid within an ovoid here. So I will... Ovoid within an ovoid, and um, now I have, you know, don't have my calipers out or a ruler out and exactly measuring. I'm sort of keeping an even me measure to around the corner and or to this point, and then I start to fatten that up. And um, when we're carving this, sometimes we uh, we say that's a unit of one here, and this will be a unit of three, so this will be three times as fat. No, actually, I don't think that's true. One, one, two, oh, two, ah, close. Anyway, usually it's fatter on the top, and that sort of plays on the shape. When Raven had finally found the Sky Chief's longhouse, he was so Ooh. excited he could just chase the pinners of the like, box, oh, it's, oh, boy, I'm just so famished after all that wandering. Oh. Well, there's only one thing to do. Knock. So he did. All right, I'm going to add an eye in the middle of this, so I'm just sort of 
noticing this space here, I'm going to, roughly in my mind, I'm going to double it up. So meaning this is a unit of one, I'm going to make this a unit. So there's a familiarity out to it. I'm echoing that line that's already there. Corner and I am sort of doing this long skinny hot dog. Ooh, hot dogs. I'm getting hungry. And Raven knocks on the door and there is no reply. He knocks again. No reply. So he figures there must be a different door. I'll go to the back. Maybe there's a back door. No back door. In fact, come to think of it, there wasn't a door anywhere. He began to feel for a crack. Where would the door be? Surely there must be an opening with this door here somewhere. No door. He was stumped. Alright, well maybe next we sort of added the I'm just going to add some details to the end of it. So again, off the end, and I'm going to... If that was a hot dog, then I'm putting my hot dog in a... in a bag, and I'm pulling the ends. Saran wrapping my hot dog. <laughs> yeah, pulling the ends. Raven looked for an opening, a crack, the smallest hole, nothing. Not even a knot hole that he could peek through. Surely, if they come out and in, there's got to be a door somewhere. Hmm. Well, they have to come out. I'll wait until they come out. And so, Raven did that. He went and he flew up to the tallest tree he could find. So Raven waited and waited at the top of the tree, wondering. Who would come out? Sky Chief himself? Or somebody else? So he waited. He wasn't a very patient person. But finally, someone came out. He's got such a big, big nose. <laughs> um, maybe we'll add some interesting detail here. Maybe we'll give him a, a nostril here. Just sort of make this space a bit more interesting. So again, um, along the bottom of the beak here, and what I've done here is I've added a, another U shape. So if you are looking upside down at this, it looks like the letter U. And who should emerge but the Sky Chief's own daughter? For she had to go down to the river and get water. And Raven thought, oh! Everybody needs to drink water. And watching her, she came out with her basket and went down to the river and filled up her basket full of water. And walked back to the longhouse and phased right through the wall of the longhouse like a ghost. And he's like, whoa, wait, whoa, how, how'd you do that? How did that happen? Uh, she was gone. All right, well, if he's got to breathe, he needs a nostril, so I'm going to give him a nostril here. There we go. Again, the hot dog shape. Hot dog, hot dog. So Raven rushed down there, right where he last saw the woman. Oh, 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 what? Hey, 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 let me in, let me in. Hey, it's me. It's me. Uh, 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 hello, hello, hey, hey, uh, hello. And he knocked on the door, or on the wall, because there was no door. Uh, uh, how, how'd you do that? Just, how did you do that? Just, uh, yeah, just, uh, nobody could just do that. That's, oh, hmm, oh. 
There's only one thing to do. Wait again. Again, so I'm going to come from this point uh, where the nose joins onto the full void. I'm going to do a split U shape. Sort of makes it a bit more interesting. And so Raven waited high up in the tree again, but this time he had a plan. When the girl came down to get water from the creek, he would have a plan, a sneaky plan. Well, that's why he's called the trickster. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, maybe the jaw. Because sitting in that tree, he looked at the branch, which gave him the idea that he could become one of these, a pine needle. All right, well, you know, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm liking this head. Now, I'll make you a deal. <laughs> you don't have to do the next part. I'm gonna, just for, just for laughs, maybe for tradition, I'm going to give him an ear. Um, I, sometimes I include the ear on a raven and sometimes I don't. Now, if you look at a raven flying by, next time you're out at Buckle Park or uh, out Mount Tuam, uh, take a good look at those ravens. Do you see an ear? Mm, I don't see an ear. It's uh, kind of like me. Where, you know, don't really have an ear. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to include an ear, and uh, you can, if you want to, you don't have to. So we'll make this optional. Here we go. And again, the upside down U. And so, when the time would come, his plan was to disguise himself as a perfect pine needle, and then drop into the water. Just like so. I'll take that U and uh, I'm going to split it. Oh, maybe I should have. Okay, well, let's see here. Maybe I'm still going to have to do it. Um, I was thinking of maybe. Uh, Putting a putting a, a an ovoid there, another one of those hot dog shapes. But I think I've done a couple hot dogs enough already. So maybe what I'll do is I will add a circle board here and a circle here. There, that yeah, breaks it up. And so sure enough. The chief's daughter came out wanting more water. And Raven was ready with his plan. And so it worked. As soon as she went down the river with her basket, she scooped up some water in her basket. And there was Raven floating down the river right into her basket. Raven was now in the basket. Okay, well, that uh, pretty much does the head. Uh, like I said, uh, you can add the ear or not, but I thought, oh, I got this little corner of space. Maybe I can use this space. So I thought I'd put an ear in there. Um, okay, looking good. Maybe we'll focus in on the wing here. So uh, I think I'll we'll zoom in on that. So yeah, I think I'll work on this uh, jelly bean shape, the ovoid, and uh, these three feathers. If you get, again, if you have more feathers, if it looks good for you to add more feathers there, if the three aren't enough, by all means. Um, yeah, okay, we'll zoom in. So here we are, we have the wing, and i um, thinking of looking at these big long feathers here. If I split them, well, maybe I'll uh, add something else here to make it a little more interesting. Maybe I'll add uh, some inner new shapes and split them. So here we go. And 
again, starting that point and coming back to that point. And guess where I'm going to start? Feather number two. Starting at this point and ending at this point. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just come out. Sort of in my mind's eye, I sort of have this invisible line radiating out as well here. So I'm sort of, these shapes will sort of echo into each other. So this is where a pencil comes in handy for me. I can sort of, it's like I'm sort of doing this on the fly with crayon. Okay, well that wasn't so bad. So Raven was now in the basket of water and the girl took the basket and went back into the longhouse and Raven was going on to his next plan. In my version of the story, I'm going to simplify it. Raven was a pine needle in the basket of water and the girl inside, being thirsty, took a big drink of water and sucked in the pine hill. <laughs> and the chief says, huh, are you okay? What's going on? Oh, just nothing, Dad. I just oh, swallowed a pine needle. <coughs> oh, oh, here, let me help you. And so he went over and slapped her on the back <coughs> and sputtered out the pine needle on the floor. Again, um, I'm going to take these U shapes and I'm going to split them. Again, using that shape like a letter T or maybe a Y, maybe it's a cross between the two. Would that be a Twy? Again, notice how everything is at these two points coming back, right? The wing, the inner U-shaped, and even the splits all come back. So it's, it always adds that tension. So Raven, being in the corner of the longhouse, thought of a plan. He thought, hmm, if I'm a mouse, or a rat. That's not very desirable. Not many people want to keep a mouse or a rat in their house. What is the one thing that is so adorable that they would just love to have? <laughs> I know. I could be a baby. Everybody loves babies. All right. So um, we've done the three feathers. And I'm looking at this ovoid here. And thinking about the context of the story and uh, Raven uses a little tricky right here so I'm thinking well, this is maybe what I'll do is I'll add a face to this to show Raven's duality yet uh, uh, he's, he's a bird but also he takes on the shape of a human baby so I'm gonna add a face in here so um, maybe I'll even zoom in a little tighter this is where having a pencil is gonna come in handy for you uh, i'm using crayon so i gotta sort of i'm gonna add the the mouth here i'm gonna come along here so there's a there's that uh, there's a corner of the, the lip there and a corner of the mouth over here i'm gonna make the mouth come down to about here But in context of the story, uh, Raven is, so if I had a pencil, I'd pencil in that line right, right across the whole thing. But I'm going to overlap, so I'm going to add a nose here, or a beak, to still show his raveness. He's, so I'm 
we go. Okay. This sort of makes sense what I'm doing here. And then uh, and it wasn't sure where that line was going to cross over. So now I'll complete. But I'm not going to cross the beak. If you've done it by pencil, you can just erase that little line there. So you can sort of see this is where <laughs> working with crayon is a little a little tricky. So i got to sort of m use pencil in my head and then it's almost like you're using a Sharpie, but uh, it's crayon. Everybody loves babies. Well, with that, he changed himself into the, well, what he thought was the cutest baby. Uh, actually, he was kind of ugly. He had a big beak still, and he kind of had skin, but there was kind of feathers kind of poking out. That, uh, well, uh, he tried, but he was a baby nonetheless. And so, to get their attention, he cried out like a baby. All right, so uh, we have the mouth here, so uh, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to add a line to show the lips here. So now we've, we've taken that, so it has a closed mouth. Although maybe in the story it should be a gaping wide mouth because he's eating to no end. Okay. And then we want to take that nose. I'm going to curl it right on over to the other side. There we go. There's the nose. Or the beak, I guess. Kind of I don't know, a cross between a nose and a beak, which is perfect because that's the idea of the story that uh, Raven is dual in nature. People heard the baby crying out. Like, what? A baby? Oh, oh my goodness, there's, there, there's a baby hidden here. What happened? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Um, they looked around and they found baby Raven. The ugliest little baby that has ever lived. Do the eye. Um, well, mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe, um, maybe the eyes will be actually kind of closed. So, and there's another reason too. So it's kind of like the letter C. Do one up here as well. So here we go. The letter C. And I'm going to take those letter C's and I'm going to just sort of almost make them into little mini canoes. shape is prevalent especially when we're making these into button blankets what it, what it really is is an ovoid overlapping ovoid I'm cutting out the negative space in between the two overlapping ovoids um, but in this case I like it because it shows that his eyes are closed uh, that maybe you know babies like to sleep um, and also this shape um, if you think about in context of our story it reminds me a pine needle. So I like that aspect that it's uh, in here too. The sky tea started. Oh my goodness, a baby. Oh, this is wonderful. I always wanted a baby. And the sky tea was like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, baby, but, uh, well, I guess, but, oh, all right. Oh, it's so wonderful. It just makes her house so wet, new baby. Ah. Now, in, with this face here, I was hoping to add some hair here too, uh, but mm, I'm kind of running out of space here. But uh, maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna uh, come on this side and split it, and I'll come over on this side and split it. So I'm sort of 
adding maybe that little bit of a jaw you know, on the top of your, uh, no, your, not your jaw, uh, your cheek, your cheekbone, kind of showing your cheekbone here. Oh, why not? Why don't we have a little, a little sprig of hair that shows that he's a, he's a baby. Okay, there we go. Shows a baby as what? One little strand of hair. <laughs> Raven endured all the good things that a baby has to endure. Free food, free diaper changes, free cuddling. It was a great life. Well, Raven wanted one thing. He wanted that box. And so with that, Raven cried out, going, And so people, you know, the sky chief was like, oh my goodness, could you feed him already? I just fed him. He's just a bottomless pit. I, I just, I just, I gave him one, one in the morning, I gave him another one, and I gave him one for lunch, and I gave him for lunch. I just, it just, it just it never stops. He, he just eats so much. I thought it was just milk he wanted, but he eats salmon, he's eating, he's eating all the dried deer meat. It's just, it's no stopping him. Oh my goodness, now, what does he want? Well, Raven went up there, up there and looked at the box up there and went, Oh, isn't that cute? He wants the box. Why don't you give him the box? All right, uh, this is looking pretty good here. We got uh, a wing, uh, we got a little face. Um, maybe we'll just, uh, carry on down the wing here, so uh, maybe I'll uh, uh, zoom in on that. You know, I think this is going to be really fairly simple. I'm going to just uh, I'm going to take this, there we go, and again split it with the letter T or letter Y or letter V or... Um, What I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna cross hatchers just to add some interest to this, and uh, cross hatching um, adds uh, some texture to it, but it also uh, reminds me of when uh, this art is engraved, especially with silver. Um, this little, these lines are a way of shading and that also again I've gone one way with these lines and in my mind I'm going along this line visibly crossing and picking up and there we go I'm sort of spacing myself out here a bit okay there we go good Cross it this way now to cross it 90 degrees the other way. So I'm just gonna find a spot here and again, I guess if you were actually wanted to make it easy on yourself, I guess you could use a ruler, couldn't you? Oh well. Oops, there you go. This whole thing is organic, so it's okay if your your lines are organic. Like I said, hey, this is art. Okay, well that sort of added some visual interest. Uh, let's say I add a little texture to it, make it interesting. So maybe we'll carry on to the body here. And the Sky Chief said, "No, he can't have the box." No, I, no. Oh, come on, just let him have the box. No, it's out of the question. And Raven, hearing that, went, ah, ah, even louder. Oh, 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 come on, give him the box. It would be, make him most happy. Oh, no, I, 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 I can't do that. No, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, that's not happening. Let me add some random feathers here to uh, show his birdness. There we go. So again, uh, those upside down U's. And you, this is the fun part, you can just add them wherever you want. You can add as many as you want. as you want. You can even alter these feather shapes if you want. If you want them a little more squarish rather than round like I have, you go for it. Alright, so we have these feathers to that we're just going to take them and split them. Again, of if this is Northwest Coast style, there's okay, here we go. There we go. I think that's kind of that again. You add as many as you like or subtract as many as you like. It's all good. Oh, come on. Just let him touch the box. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Oh, come on. Just let him touch the box. You can still hold it. Oh, okay, fine. And with that, the Sky Chief went and got his box. And he brought it down for Raven to touch. And... Okay, there we go. Oh. oh, come on, let him have it a little longer than that. Oh, well, oh, fine, fine. So we got the box again, brought it down to Raven. There you go. All right. Uh, this is looking pretty good here. I'm going to put his tail here. Um, you know, we've got this ovoid is filled with an eye. This ovoid is already got a face in it to show Raven's duality. So I've added a face there. It might be a bit confusing. Uh, but I could, I suppose, but we've already explored that. So I think maybe what I'm going to do with that ovoid is I'm going to give a hint of what Raven is striving for here. So maybe what I'm going to add is I'm going to add a star. So in my mind, I'm just drawing a letter T right across the whole thing and I'm sort of starting at this point. Right, so I'm going to start at this point again. There we go. And I'm going to split right a little there, right? So I guess in mathematical terms, your x-axis and your y-axis. <laughs> uh, again, oh yeah, this does remind me of quadratic equations. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just let him have the box. What's the worst that could happen? You know as well as I what could happen here. What's in the box has to stay in the box. It cannot and will not come out. If it comes out, the whole world could be affected. Oh, nonsense. Just let him have the box. It's so cute. All right, we have a full raven. Now, in context to this story, um, I'm thinking about uh, Raven. He disguises himself as the child. Uh, the pine needle eyes. Uh, the face, the star. So I think what I'm going to do, his mouth is open, so I'm going to put the sun in his mouth. Um, and what I'm also thinking about, I'm going to just, I'm going to switch colors just to uh, signify uh, that uh, this is the sun, it's not Raven, so maybe what I'll do is I'll switch over to a red. You can keep using pencil, don't worry about it. 
But uh, if you want, you can switch to red along with me if you if you wish. So uh, here we go. Well, because this is the sun and switching to red, I guess this would be a good opportunity for me to try out these glitter crayons. <laughs> all right, let's go to try hair. Let's see what these glitter crayons are all about. Okay, glitter red. All right, if it glitters, well, now you know. All right. Now, ha ha ha. Hmm. Um, okay. I'm just thinking about, I'm going to add a round circle in here. Now, if you want to know a little secret, uh, this would be the time that you could look for something. If you want to draw a perfect circle, you could draw, you could go and find or something that's round that works for you. Maybe in your case, maybe it's a loony. Maybe it's a quarter uh, that would fit me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'll see if I can join you and see if I can find something that round that works. Let's see if this works. Mm, too small. Mm, too big. Mm, starting to feel like Goldilocks. Mm, oh, oh, oh. This might work. Uh, I'm looking at this, and you know what? I don't mind it. It's a little bit big, but that's okay. Because he's squeezing the sun a bit. Actually, maybe I can just move it out a bit, and it works. I think this is going to work. All right, there we go. I have found my perfect circle. Sometimes when I'm drawing circles by hand, I'm pretty good. And maybe in keeping with the spirit of this picture, because I didn't use a ruler earlier, maybe I should use just pre-handed. Oh, I couldn't resist. All right, well, here we go. Spin that over. There we go. Perfect. The sky chief brought the box down to Raven, and Raven snatched the box out of his hands and ripped off the lid. And Raven was so excited. <gasps> The stars all came out. Often that is the case in this art, is uh, when I was first looking at totem poles, I would see uh, uh, birds carved, and I'd look at them, and i go, hmm, is that an eagle? Is that a hawk? Is that a raven? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, well, one of the key things, if it's a raven, it might have an ear, it may not, uh, but one of the key things, if it's raven and it has a, It'll have a, a circle, a disc, the sun in his mouth, and keeping context with this story. So, um, yeah. So I'm just thinking about this sun, uh, and uh, I don't know. I just have such a big drawing here. Uh, um, I just might have a little fun with this, and so. Um, Yeah, I'm just thinking right now on the fly of what I could put in here. And, uh, you know, I think I just might add a little raven inside the sun, which raven is holding. Uh, but you can do, you could, this is optional. If you just want to color it in red or make it a yellow and glowing red, that's totally cool. Um, if you want to add, uh, again, like we did in the tail, that uh, star shape, that's that'd be cool too so i'm just gonna go crazy because uh <laughs> because i can because i am <laughs> all right so uh i'm going to uh add a jelly bean it's sort of Jelly bean is sort of using that outward shape of the. And uh, okay, so there we go. We have the jelly bean. That's going to be the head. Now, this is part is going to be the beak. And uh, it's fairly straight. So it's kind of a, kind of a short and stubby beak. 
I'm going to split that beak. So again, there's his head, and it's got his little beak. Maybe I could have made that head a little smaller and had a longer beak. Maybe that would have been a bit, a bit more uh, true to Raven. Uh, I was scared to curl it. Um, just because it might look like a, an eagle, so I don't, don't want to confuse that. And then I'm going to add the jaw, and so maybe what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add maybe a cheek here. It's, uh, again, like the letter U. And I'm going to take that letter U, and I'm going to split it. And uh, now I'm going to add the bottom part of the jaw here. So off the top, bottom of that U, I'm going to go straight across. Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to go back and right back to that point. Okay, there we go. Um, so we have the head. And so the beauty of this art is we just, um, uh, we're squishing into a circle. And now we're also, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to make this really basic wing here. I'm just going to add uh, sort of an oval shape here. And again, I'm just going to I think I'm just going to add two feathers here because that's all the room I kind of got here. There we go, two feathers. I'm going to take those feathers and split them. So I got a wing here, so I'm going to take that wing now and join it to the body. And there we go. And I take that joining and split that. All right. So we have the head, the beak, the cheek, the jaw, and then we have the wing here with two feathers. Of course, we know ravens have more than two feathers, but uh, just for the expression of this art. You can add three. If you have room for more feathers, you go for it. Um, and I'm just going to add uh, the hot dog shape. The hot dog shape has returned. Hey, look at that. Echoing hot dog shapes here. And again, I'm going to add the little ends to my eye to really make it come alive here. So there we go. So in my little sun here, I have raven in the sun, a raven within a raven, with a raven. Oh my gosh, I got ravens all over the place. All right, cool. Well, maybe just uh, finally, and I have a circle within a circle within a circle. There we go. And I'll put a little raven inside that one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and the stars swirled around the room, and Rickman was so transfixed. <gasps> It's amazing! Sparkling of light, something they had never seen before. And the stars swirled out, out the smoke hole in the roof. And the sky chief was like, oh no! Oh, I didn't want that to happen! Oh, gee! I told you this is a bad idea! And Raven, looking down in the box, he saw a medium sized box. This is just uh, how I'm drawing again. We made the ear optional we made the raven within the sun optional so you could just have a plain old circle or uh, just do a simple uh, star shape kind of starburst four point starburst or you could do you know, whatever it doesn't you know it's all good um well i'm kind of looking at this and you just sort of the angle of the head is kind of looking up here and the wings are kind of they're all kind of coming up to this point here Think about this. About what we could put up there. But I was thinking down below here, uh, in context to our story, is that you know, as, as Raven is coming up, he's he's he's, he's he looks like he's getting ready to take a big uh, a lift off here with his wings, and he's flying up into the sky. So down below, I thought because the space is actually perfectly suited, if it works for you, uh, go for it. If not, don't worry about it. Um, again, if you have the room, fine. If you don't, fine. But I think 
um, again, I'll make this optional. You don't have to do this part, but uh, it uh, it helps uh, to convey the story, and that's what this uh, uh, art is. It's uh, th there is no written language here on the coast, uh, but there is uh, a visual language, and this is what I like about this art. Is uh, uh, well coincides with me being a visual thinker, uh, but also uh, it's a visual language where um, this now has a story in it. You know, you can come by and look at this art and go, oh, that looks like a bird. Why Why is this round thing in his mouth? Oh, that's the sun. Oh, why is the sun in his mouth? Well, this is a face here. How come there's a face in his wings? And the eyes are closed. Why, 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 why is that? So this prompts us to retell the story and so that's the beauty of this art and so I think the box uh, will be a, uh, an integral part of the story as well so uh, if you want you can follow along or uh, you know take a break and then uh, come back later and pick up where you left off and we can draw the box so I'm gonna carry on and draw the box and Raven seeing the medium-sized box ripped open that lid and out came the moon, and the moon rose in the room, and Ray was so full of delight. Oh, wow, that's amazing! And the moon went out the smoke hole and out into the sky. All right, uh, here we are, zoomed in down below the wing here, and I'm um, going to add the box. So I'm um, gonna keep uh, give it that uh, bentwood box shape to it and bentwood boxes are the most interesting way of constructing a four-sided box using steam and curves um i feel like i'm i feel like i'm going back on my word i'm going to use a ruler <laughs> oh a ruler oh no uh i uh, it's just that i'm using this big drawing here and I don't want my every hint of my line being wiggly at this size it would just be really pertinent oh no really I should have been put over okay I'm gonna put my box right there Again, if your box is more square looking or even taller than it's hey, by all means, you know, I just sort of modifying for the space that I have here, I have this long sort of rectangular space that really needs something interesting. And Raven looking down into the medium sized box saw a small, a teensy tiny little box and thought, oh, what's in this box? And ripping open the lid to this box, out came the sun. And the sun came out and shone so brightly that everybody was blinded by it, going, oh, oh my goodness, it's so bright. Okay, so here it is. I have my box. Um, hmm, golly. Now, I mean, <laughs> I've just done this wonderful raven on the on this big sheet of paper now it's like i have a sheet of paper within a sheet of paper now what am i going to put on on the side of the box here um uh, so this is what we're going to do we're going to copy this drawing again and copy it all inside this box repeating the same drawing a drawing within a drawing i'm kidding <laughs> uh we'll, we'll uh i'll keep trying to keep it simple here uh, but it does need something to, uh, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Ah, ooh, I know, I know, I know. Okay, here we are. Um, maybe that, maybe that little 
tape here. Again, if you want to grab a, something circular that fits within your box, I'm going to use this handy dandy piece of uh, old tape here. And, uh, Okay. Uh, now remember, in context to the story, uh, what's inside the box? Well, oh, it's the sun. So I think I'm going to put a sun here as well. And this, we've already sort of uh, with the mouth, uh, the sun in the mouth, we've got Raven in there. So uh, hopefully, when I color, it's going to look more sunnish, and they'll even give it a glow. Uh, but I'm going to uh, really make this uh, a sun here. So, uh, the difference between the sun and the moon is the sun has radiating rays of light here. The moon does not. All right, so I'm going to add one top. These U shapes again. The Sky Chief was very upset. Oh, no, no, this is such a bad idea. Oh, I told you. Wait a minute. And now, with the sunlight brightly shining. Wait a minute. That's not a baby. That's Raven. And Raven going, <laughs> oops. Yeah, <laughs> it's me. And I'm going to take these U's, and I'm just going to split them. Oops, maybe there's a bit top, closer to the top, maybe not bottom, oh well. Again, it's art. Not too worried about it. All right, there we go. So we got the sort of four rays here. I think, um, and maybe if my circle is bigger, I'd Four more rays here to have a eight ray, but I'm gonna get a little more organic here. I'm just gonna add the S curve. So I just like the letter S. Add a little S, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna add a little S, kind of show the maybe the wispiness of the flames that come off the sun. I'm just going to take those flames and you know, maybe that's where this shape actually comes from, you know, flames. I see this S shape a lot in Northwest Coast Native Arts, so maybe it comes from flames, maybe it comes from grass. Oh, yeah, um, well, yeah, it was nice knowing you, but um, I gotta go now. Oh, a raven! Oh, I can't believe it! I was tricked by a raven! Oh! You have the flames, uh, the rays or the flames coming off uh, to show it's the sun. So we have this very uh, fairly balanced uh, composition here. Um, very balanced, either it's top or bottom or left, right. It's pretty balanced. So maybe what I'll do, instead of doing a, uh, you know, two eyes and two no nostrils and two sides of the mouth and two cheeks and everything's perfectly I think just to get away from that uh, I think I'll add a face here and I'm gonna have the face angled up looking back up at the raven as if to say hey you open the box here what, what? raven seeing that bright sign in the room oh it was just too good 
it, 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 now he could see everything around him, no more fumbling in the dark. And with that, he grabbed the sun and flew around the room with it. And seeing the smoke hole, went out the smoke hole and into the sky where everyone could see this bright light coming from the Sky Chief's longhouse and being so bright and see the mountains and the trees and the clouds and the lakes and everything around them. What? Okay, first things first, I'm going to draw the knot, the, the nose here first. There we go. And again, a tiny little jelly bean. So, so we'll go back, curl against that edge, and then it's going to come open. Okay, so we have the, the lip here, the nostril. I'm going to fatten the lip now, come off the bottom of that ovoid. And I'm going to come around to the point here. I'm going to thin right out. And from that thinness, I'm going to come out. And I'm going to add a little hook to the... Okay. Oh, that's working for me, I think. And so now, I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to add an ovoid again. Boy. And, uh... Little ends to it. Ends to the eye. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's looking pretty, pretty good. Maybe what I'll do is I add some teeth here. Again, those little U shapes. Should I put bottom teeth on? Oh, why not? Make this space a bit more interesting in here, I guess, eh? All right, I guess I'll match. Match the teeth there, okay. Yeah, okay. Looking good. And maybe just to break this space up here, I mean, we all know that the the sun is the sun, but the sun is also uh, a star. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some little stars. Just, and that can sort of help break up the... Uh, solid composition here. Very balanced and sort of try and get it unbalanced. So the face helps unbalance it because it's not asymmetrical. And uh, where these stars are going are is random as well, so it helps break up. Okay, there we go. And oh, what, why not? How about, maybe I could add, maybe I could add the moon in here somewhere, how about that? You can put the moon anywhere you like on your box, I don't know, I just picked this little spot here. No more stumbling in the dark. Now, Raven, he took that sun high up into the sky, and with that, he realized something else. Not only was it a great source of light, it was a great source of heat. Ooh, ah, ooh, that, ooh, 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 this is hot. And with that, poor Raven, he toasted himself until he was completely black. And from that day forward, Raven was completely black. And Raven taking that sun and threw it into the sky. And there is why the sun is where it is today. High, high up in the sky. Okay, well, we've drawn a box here. And um, what this box means now is, of course, in the story, Raven takes a box and he opens the lid. So maybe what we'll do is we'll 
have a lid here. like these lines here on the feathers coming out and I don't want to interrupt that and pause your eye flowing along those feathers so maybe So again, I'm just going to use cheat and use my <laughs> finite advantage <laughs> and use this uh, handy dandy ruler, red stick. And, uh, there we go. Make sure they're quite thick. Right. Like that, and then like this. Okay, there we go. Let's use up a little bit of space in the corner here. And uh, they're kind of upside down wedge shaped, these lids of the boxes, which is kind of a curious shape. Like a parallelogram? Is that what that shape? Yeah. It's like Math 9 coming back to me, 1987. <laughs> okay, cool. That's the box. Lid of the box, so he's taking the lid, put it on, put it on its, lean it up against the side of the box, which makes sense. And um, just to break up that geometric shape, I'm going to add some uh, uh, little shells here that uh, would often. You know what? You can do any pattern you want with these shells. I'm just going to add a typical pattern to see. And there's all kinds of patterns I've seen with shells inlaying wood carvings. And sometimes even the eye is carved out and uh, a shell is put in. Uh, whether it's mother of pearl or Okay, well, there we go. We've got a lid. We've got the shells on the side of the lid. We've got the sun on the box. So we're identifying what's going to be in the box. And the stars and the moon. Uh, wow, we're uh, looking, uh, this is looking, this is, <laughs> this is going further than I thought it would go, but uh, this is looking really good. All right, maybe uh, we'll stand back and take a look at this and see if there's anything else it needs. All right, let's take a look. Now we're starting to really tell a story. Now this it seems to be like, oh boy, what is going on? What is this? He's seen something. The sun in his mouth. He's opened the box. Uh, he's facing the wind. What's 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 happening? So now we've got a real vehicle to tell a story. And so I'm looking at this and uh, mm -hmm, I'm wondering. Space up here it needs something. It needs something. Hmm. Oh, well, why don't I begin in the spirit of the story? Uh, maybe I'll just add a pretty simple little landscape here um, to sort of give us a place and maybe 
give you some depth here so it feels like we're close up we're even close to the bark close to raven and then maybe we'll push it back and add some uh, background so we'll go back a hundred yards and uh, take a look at what's going on behind so now we're sort of giving this uh, story a little atmosphere all right uh, okay let's do it okay here we go here's that yardstick i'm going to add a Horizon line. There we go. And I'm sort of imagining where the story takes place. So, hmm. <laughs> okay, now this is kind of. You can use pencil for this, but you know, I am going to shift gears here and I'm envisioning this is a coastline of some sort. So I'm going to switch it. I'm going to go and get my green crayon. This is a, a little trick I use, especially doing this art. So I'm going to take, remove the paper off my crayon here. That's perfect for what I need. Always feels like a shame, but I am going to break my crayon. What I do to do this, um, this is really handy if you have a crayon, is I just uh, take it on its side. So I'm not using the tip of my crayon. I mean, I suppose I could, but uh, I use the side of my crayon. So I'm using the, I'm using the whole side of my crayon here and I'm just scrubbing sort of up and down. Just to randomly go along here. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to create a little break here. So maybe for, just to clarify what's going on here, maybe I'll we'll use the tip of my crayon just to show what's going on here. Okay, so there's my break. I'm going to carry on right here. This is where my creek is going to go, right here. So I'm going to carry on with this forest. There we go. And now I'll just take a break to the corner of the side of the page. So again, it's just randomness. You just, it doesn't have to be, you know, how many points at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You don't have to have 13 trees along here. <laughs> you just uh, go along. And, and again, I'm just going to go over my scrubbiness of it and sort of maybe define it and uh, those will become trees and I'm gonna maybe I'll come back to this in the coloring process but you can sort of see what I'm doing here okay we'll just sort of show this side as well Since uh, an opening or a creek could be, and so maybe just to come along, I'm just gonna add a few little random flex branches. So I'm just kind of coming along, and you know, there you go. This is my I'm having a Bob Ross moment. Cool. Um, yeah, see, that's, see, there you go. Here's a forest, an instant forest, just like that. Um, so again, what I was saying, uh, I'm going to add a creek here. Um, so uh, I'm going to switch gears again. I'm going to change from green. I'm going to go to blue. Okay, well, uh, this is indigo. Let's see if indigo works. I'm going to, oh, well, it's a little darker than that. Oh well, keep going here. I'm just gonna keep going in it. I'm just gonna have the uh, creek come out along here. There we go. And it kind of comes out there like so. You can 
add as many curves as you like. Maybe you got more space or not enough, so you just kind of condense it as it is. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to my horizon line, and I'm going to join it all up. So I'm going to switch gears, go back to my black. shore or the lake shore kind of reminds me of where we were out on Bull Creek okay well there we go um, there we go we got a creek um, forest or raven or maybe raven is up high in this tree hey why not why don't we put a tiny little raven way up there in the tree Looks like a cat more than a raven. <laughs> okay, so you make it more. You make a better raven than me, but oh, now I've done it. Ah, okay. It's hard with these little crayons. Why not? Even that'll help tell a little bit of the story. Um, you know, if you want, you can even add a little pine needle and say, "Hey, there's the pine needle that Raven was." Uh, exaggerate the size. There you go. Here's the pine needle. Now it's it's on to the fun part, uh, coloring. This is where we'd like to uh, get interacted with you. Um, if you have followed along and drawn this uh, with me, uh, please color it. And then if you could uh, take a picture of it and uh, send it to us, and you know, we'll have a collection of your pictures. We'll have to. Dedicate a space if uh, everyone, if every student in history has done this, but that's a lot of pictures. Uh, that would take me a week. It's <laughs> a nice problem to have. So, uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, carry on, watch me with the font. We'll carry on coloring. Again, I was coloring away in color. Until then, Aichka, thank you. And uh, we'll do another drawing soon. Yeah is how Raven stole the sun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.